아직도 너의 소리를 듣고 아직도 너의 손길을 느껴 오늘도 난 너의 흔적 안에 살았죠 Hi, I'm currently in Seoul, South Korea. It's already my third visit to this Mecca city. But I have to come again to crud this very important item off my bucket list, seeing the autumn foliage. My trip is very short this time, only three days and two nights, but I feel so fulfilled. My first stop is Changdeok Gung Palace, built in 3095. Changdeok Gung is the second of the five grand palaces standing in the Korean capital. It's the easternmost of the five and was the most flavored palace of many Joseon princes. Now, it's not so secret secret garden has attracted flocks of tourists, especially during late October. It's considered one of the best places to see autumn colors in the city. One amazing thing about Changdeok Gung is the nature and traditional buildings coexist harmoniously. The next day, I joined my new friend Yogan to Bukhansan National Park. Bukhansan is the nearest national park from Seoul. It's only 20 minutes bus ride from our hostel in Jungno district. It's also one of the most popular places to see autumn foliage. We wanted to ask the visitor center for recommendations of trails, but it's closed every Wednesday. Unfortunately, it means today. We try to ask the locals, but we can't communicate. And there's a lack of English road size. It's pretty difficult to design the way. So we randomly pick a ragged path. We had no idea where it will lead us, but as long as I'm surrounded by trees and the nature, I feel good. I feel so good that I even want to take some selfies. On the third day, my friend Minu comes to pick me up and show me places around Seoul. Seoul mate! Minu is Korean and we have been friends since college. He first drives me to the top of Bukasan Mountain, where you can have the panoramic view of Seoul. The city looks hazy from this height. But on the other side, we can see Bukhansan very clearly. 
Bugasan is sometimes known as the Beverly Hill of Seoul due to it being a preferred residential location for Korean celebrities. But we didn't luck out to see any of them on our visit. Next, we came to Daksu Gung Palace. It's also one of the five palaces in Seoul. It's smaller but equally elegant. You can see the palace on the ground level. Or we'll order a drink at a cafe on the 13th floor of the building just beside it and enjoy the sweeping view of the palace right before you. It's also customary to have a walk along the wall of the palace. The narrow street by the wall is also selected as one of the best places to see golden leaves. But rumor has it, a couple is likely to break up after having a walk there. So make sure to avoid bringing your better half there. My last stop of the trip is So Forest. The area where the park is located was once a royal hunting forest. It became Seoul's first water purification plant in 1908, and later it was used for both racecourts and golf facilities. In 2005, it was transformed into a park with a dense canopy of trees and lake as it is now. You can also visit over 100 species of animals and insects in the park. After the visit to the park, it's time to be headed to the airport. These three days were short, but they're absolutely brilliant. I feel lucky I've experienced the fall in Seoul. 